The 13 on Your Side Weather Deck is sponsored by Montel Construction. Show your home some love. Meteorologist Laura Hartman out on the weather deck. Laura, I think today is a reminder that um, it's still March. <laughs> it's still March. It's so hard to shake off winter this time of year, isn't it? Even into April, we tend to get some cooler days, and that's exactly where we're starting things off tomorrow with a day in the 30s. So going to be a reminder that spring is coming occasionally, but it'll be back in full force by the weekend as we hit the 60s once more. Let's take a look first at the weather ball. It is no surprise. Solid blue cooler in view and this is sponsored by Countryside Greenhouse of Allendale. We've still got some sunshine, but a few more clouds right now. We're going to keep it a mix of sun and clouds for the afternoon and right now 37 in Fremont. Many of us are sitting in those mid to upper 30s. It is a drastically colder afternoon than yesterday. At this time, Grand Rapids was at 60 yesterday and right now we're sitting in the 30s. So about 25 degrees colder by the afternoon high point and we will see temperatures much cooler tomorrow. Not cold enough to influence maybe a little bit of lake effect flurry activity. So if you see that tonight or early tomorrow, don't be surprised. We will likely not see anything accumulating, but those flurries could be flying and then heading into the weekend as we get closer and closer after tomorrow, temperatures will start to rise as quickly as Saturday, we are back to the 60s. So up and down temperatures for at least the next couple days. And we're not alone in this cold spell, by the way. There's some winter weather over in uh, parts of Ohio, parts of Pennsylvania, New, New York as well. And we're just going to see the cold air with this one. And again, a few flurries possible. But this is the comparison to average temperatures this time of year. And a lot of the eastern half of the country is colder than average. And that's going to last for just a short period of time before we pick back up tonight. Temperatures are dropping into the 20s, so it will be a frosty start tomorrow. And if you can warm up the car, you might want to spend a few minutes doing that. Temperatures tomorrow will be in those mid to upper 30s, feeling quite cold with the winds too from the north. And they'll be breezy at times, so wind chills are mainly going to be in the 20s on Thursday. As we go into Friday, we start to see temperatures rising, but that big movement in warm air is going to come as we head to Saturday and Sunday. As for your model forecast, looking pretty quiet today. We'll keep a few more clouds than what you see here, but look at this. By the evening to overnight hours, you start to see some of those light scattered showers all in the form of snow, of course, and we've got temperatures uh, in the 20s at this point. Those lake effect snow showers kind of drifting away as we head through Thursday, but again, morning hours is the best time to see a couple flurries flying. We're quiet by Friday morning, plenty of sunshine leading into the weekend as well. As for Today, temperatures will be in the upper 30s to low 40s, and if you plan a walk, just count on it feeling significantly colder than that thanks to those northwest winds. Wind chills will stay right around freezing for the afternoon. Inland locations about the same, upper 30s to low 40s. Farther south, most making the 40s this afternoon, but not really climbing into the 40s. 42 in Grand Rapids and 44 in Kalamazoo and Battle Creek. Your 13 on your side forecast. We've got a couple cold days to get through, and then it's Pretty nice after this Saturday, Sunday 60s, nearing 70 by Easter Sunday and probably making it there on Monday. We will have our next round of rain holding off until Monday night and early Tuesday. So we've got a while before we see any more rain and the dry spell continues here. But next week, better chances to get some showers across West Michigan, even some thunderstorms possible Thursday and Friday.